Hey, here's another quick tip from the Austin Board of Realtors. Uh, this quick tip is on finding comps to price a property. So remember, regardless if you're on the seller's or the buyer's side of the transaction, you're gonna need to find comps for your CMA. So the first thing that we're gonna do over here is we're gonna go and select our active, pending, and our closed. Then what you can do is just go straight to the map. Once you're on the map, you can go over here to the jump to address bar and put in the subject property's address. Once you do that, it's gonna put a little pin marker right there so you can see in red. Now remember, another nice little tip is you can go to the layers and then in most neighborhoods, you can just click and you will see a neighborhood outline. So with that, now what we can do is we can see all the comps in the neighborhood. I can go ahead and take my uh, polygon or radius, whatever you would like to use. And then I can go ahead and I can capture these comps right here with my little polygon. So after we have those selected, then remember it's always best practice. You can always come and narrow those down as close as you can with the year built and the square footage. And you can put those in here and then go to the results. Once you have your results selected, go ahead and you can either select them all, go down here under actions to CMA, create a CMA through matrix. You can put them into RPR or whatever uh, software that you're using. Hopefully this was helpful today. Have a great day.